Hey everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. So in this video, I will be discussing about the Windows 11 LTSC version 24H2 that has been officially released now on the Microsoft website. So I will be explaining how you have to download the ISO, how you need to install it, what is the basic difference between the regular Windows 11 ISO and the LTSC ISO, and whether you should use it or not. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. Okay, so in order to download the ISO first, you can open up any of your browser and type here Windows 11 LTSC download. And on the very top, you will be getting the Microsoft website. Please select your Windows 11 LO2 Enterprise LTSC. Click on it. Then it gives you two different options. ISO for Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC, X64 or AMD 64 edition. ISO Windows 11 for the ARM 64. So we will be going with the x64 so you will have to click on it and the downloading will be automatically started now you can have a look here guys that the size of this iso is around 4.1 gigabyte and that is comparatively quite less as compared to windows 11 24h2 iso which is around 5.4 gigabyte but this iso is only 4.1 so that means of course this is a light weighted uh, windows 11 edition that you can enjoy so now once you have downloaded the ISO, now you need to understand that what exactly this Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC is and whether you should download and use it or not. So on the Microsoft page only, if you scroll down a bit here, it says carefully read the information below before you continue with the download. It says see the Windows 11 Enterprise hardware and the processor requirement. So if I click on the hardware here, so these are the requirement. For the Windows 11 LTSC, the processor should be 1 GHz with 2 cores and the optional minimum requirement is 1 GHz 2 core. The system memory, it can run easily on 4 GB and even you can try on the 2 GB. The storage size should be same 64 and 64. A storage type again, uh, you can even try on the hard disk and even there is not any mandatory requirement for the TPM and the secure boot. So, it means you can try this on even on the low end PC or a old laptop or PC. All right. So now next here, that is the most important point that you have to listen carefully. That is register, then download your 90 day evaluation. So it means this ISO will be working only for the 90 days as there is not any option to purchase or download the full version of this ISO. And that is one of the biggest drawback guys in case if you go ahead and install on your main computer probably after 90 days you will have to go ahead and reinstall it back so it doesn't seem to be a good idea to install this on your main device or your primary device yes of course you can try this on any kind of virtual machine or any of your secondary devices so this is what you have to keep in your mind before moving toward the installation Next, it says do not attempt to upgrade a previous version of Windows with this software. It is intended to be a replacement where you will be reformatting the hard drive during the installation. Another important topic guys. Now, please do not try to upgrade your Windows like from Windows 10 or Windows 11 older version to this version of Windows 11 LTSC as it clearly says that it will be reformatting the hard drive during the installation. Install the full feature software for a 90 day evaluation to a virtual machine using the file, using the ISO file or install from the USB flash. So as I said, you can try this evaluation copy only on the virtual machine or probably on your secondary device, which is not so important for you. And then below you'll find the installation guide, backup your file. Upon installation Windows 11, Enterprise LTSC will prompt you to activate a product key is not required for this software. So you do not need any kind of license key for this Windows 11 LTSC ISO. If you decide that you want to install Windows 11 LTSC using one of the provided ISO file, you won't be able to uninstall it. In addition, after you install Windows 11 LTSC evaluation, you won't be able to use the recovery partition or your PC to go back to the previous version of Windows. So as mentioned above that kindly do not upgrade your older version of Windows with this version of Windows 11 LTSC because there won't be any kind of option to roll back. Now generally what happened when you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11, 
or older version of Windows 11 to the newer version, you get approx 10 days to revert it back. Which means in the settings, in the recovery, you get an option to roll back where you can easily revert back your older version of Windows. But this will not be applicable with Windows 11 LTSC. All right. And so on. There are many other things that I would recommend you that go ahead and read them carefully before moving with the installation here. Okay, so once the ISO has been downloaded, now let's see how the installation process work and how lightweighted and what kind of interface they have. All right, so I'm going to install this on a virtual machine here. All right, so we got the Windows 11 setup page where we have to choose the language, the currency format. So I will choose it. Keyboard layout. Next. Select the setup option. I want to install Windows 11 or repair my PC. Yes, I want to install it. I agree. Click on next. Click on accept. Select the disk. Click on next. And it says ready to install. You won't be able to use the PC during the installation. Install Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC Evaluation. Keep nothing. So click on install and the installation process will now be started. So now let's wait until the installation is being completed and then I will show you that how lightweighted this Windows 11 edition is and what kind of performance it gives. Alright, so now we are on the configuration page where we have to choose a country or region. Now one thing guys, you need to keep in mind as you have seen that during the first installation, I got an error that the installation has been failed. So probably even I just checked many kind of report and many kind of blog, many people are reporting that they are getting this kind of error where the installation is being failed on a different pages. But fortunately, I tried this twice and it worked for me as of now. Let's see whether it works further on or not. So click on yes. Choose the keyboard layout. Click on yes. Skip the second keyboard layout. Next, it will ask you the Microsoft account to log in. Now, I don't want to use a Microsoft account. So let's use a method here and see whether it works here or not. So from my keyboard, I will press shift plus F10. And the black window will be up. First, I will disable the Wi-Fi. So I will type ncpa.cpl and this will bring up the internet connection. Even if you are connected with the LAN connection, you can also disable it. And keep in mind, once the installation is being completed, you will have to re-enable it. Okay. And now finally here, type a simple command that will be ob back forward slash bypass nro and hit the enter key. And this will again take you to the configuration page. So choose the country or region again. Click on yes. Choose the keyboard layout. Click on yes. Skip the second layout. Okay, so seems to be working. It says let's connect you to a network. So I will click I don't have internet. And boom, now I have the option here to create a local account. So I will type a design name like Genie. And click on next. It's asking you for the password. So go ahead and type your password. Click on next. Click on next, next and accept. Okay, so finally Windows 11 LTSC has been installed now and you will find this kind of uh, desktop here. On the right hand corner, you will find the watermark Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC Evaluation License Valid for 90 Days. All right, now let's notice what kind of difference we have on this addition. So on the taskbar, you can see that we have a very minimal icon here. Only the widget one, the search bar and the Windows logo. And if you click on the Windows logo, the pinned section is very neat and clean. Even the recommended section is very minimal. Only one get started is only displayed here. And now let's click on all apps. And these are the applications which are being installed. So calculator, get it started, Microsoft Edge, Notepad. Okay, that's it. Windows tool, Windows backup. That's really very minimum. I believe there are many things missing as well. I don't find the Windows security here. Okay, so what I can do, I can right click on the Windows icon. And if I go to the settings and if I go to the Windows update here. Okay, so it looks very simple here. Windows update is committed to helping reduce carbon emission. Okay. Now, if I go to privacy and security and Windows security, 
we can't open this windows defender your device need a new application to open this link okay okay so seems that windows security has been disabled here and we have to manually open it so the windows security is not working and the activation status says active change the product key so the product is already been activated and of course it's been activated for the 90 days and now if i come to the app section again and click on installed apps the microsoft edge paint snipping tool and that's it all the bloatware has been completely removed so even let me check the version here so i will type winwa all right here it is and you can see that it's version 24h2 so as i said in the beginning that this will be the latest version of windows 11 ltc 24h2 that has been officially released on the microsoft website and now let's see what kind of report we get in the task manager what is the number of processes and the thread count so let's go to the performance okay so the utilization is very minimal here and you can see guys the memory i have only allotted around 4 gigabyte of ram only but still the ram consumption is not too much higher it's okay the processes the thread and the handle count is also good and quite low as compared to the regular windows 11 iso and let me also check that what kind of utilization is being done here in the c drive after the installation so if i right click on it go to the properties 7.42 gigabyte so even after the installation only 7.42 gigabyte space has been occupied and that is very low as compared to again the regular windows 11 iso and even overall experience of using it like going through the navigation it seems to be working fast so yes you can go ahead and try this no problem the only thing i'm not sure about it that what will happen after 90 days whether we have to go ahead and reinstall it or we will be only getting the deactivated version of this windows 11 ltsc if you have any information about this guys please let us know in the comment section and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this information useful the video useful if yes make sure that you hit the like subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye